I just happened to be recording this in an area that a lot of my toy, uh, my daughter's toys are, so I couldn't resist including them in the video. Roar. Anyway, um, so actually, if you uh, follow me on Instagram, and my Instagram is Punky Rooster, where the O's in Rooster are placed with zeros, and uh, or you follow my non-video posts here on YouTube, then you've already seen me reference this. I made a killer find. This is actually an antique card catalog. It's in damn near perfect condition. It's gorgeous. It is heavy, solidly made. Has, you can see right here, has nine compartments. And I'm super duper excited. I've always wanted one of these because I always thought it'd be cool to actually store seeds in one of these things. So I happened to see this in, on a local swap site and picked it up. It cost me $100, which is a lot of money to invest in something as silly as seed storage, but how cool is it to be able to store seeds in this? Like, I, I, I guess what fascinates me is it's just like, one, this is just gorgeous. Like if you're into somebody, I'm not really like an antique person, but if you're into like old stuff or like classic stuff, I mean, it's, it's just very appealing. It's solid, it looks nice. I can actually put this like in the, in the living room amongst stuff and people won't be like, people might be like, what is that? But they won't be like, big overflowing shoebox full of seeds, which is what I currently have, which isn't great for organization. And it's just, it's just not a great way to store seeds. It doesn't look nice. I kind of just end up treating it because it doesn't look nice. I just end up treating like something that isn't nice and just like shove in the back of a closet, which isn't great for me, especially when you have a lot of seeds like I do. So for the longest time I was like, how, what is the better way to store seed packets? And then I thought about, you know, you know, doing the like the, the you know one cool way is if you get like a three ring binder and you take like those those sleeves that um, people use for like baseball cards and other collectible cards using that 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 was cool so i considered doing that but then i was like wouldn't it be amazing if i could find a library card catalog but they're hard to come by and usually they're not in great shape and when you do find them they're usually like a billion dollars so to find one that was cheap in perfect condition like i don't even need to refinish this this is gorgeous exactly as it is isn't that amazing? Each drawer works perfectly. It's got a little bit of wear on the inside of the drawers, but I really don't care about that. It is in no way affecting its its function. It even has a little the actual spring-loaded, I don't know what you'd call this, but the thing that holds the cards in. But what's really what's really cool is it does fit. And as it turns out, I didn't know. I thought I'd have to mod like the packages or the drawer itself but it actually perfectly fits a standard seed packet. So I can, if you can picture hundreds of seed packets lined up, like how amazing and cool is that? The one problem is though, and now I have, I officially have a problem with something for Baker Creek, rareseeds.com, that their envelopes are too big. <laughs> they don't fit, they're too tall. So I'm gonna have to actually take all of my Baker Creek ones and fold them down. So that's not really that big of a deal, but I just found that amusing. It's like, I like Baker Creek a lot. A lot of people, I know a lot of you too, is what you do as well. As, as far as seed company go, I really appreciate what they do. I really appreciate the, their vibe. I am not shilling them. I am, <laughs> they're not paying me to promote them. I buy seeds from a lot of places, but Baker Creek is a fun place to buy seeds. A lot of cool like heirloom varieties for people who aren't in the know, but I, I just, I'm so blown away. I, I think this is amazing. This is what I always wanted. And I considered this, a, even though it's $100 and right now I'm really trying to watch output of money, it just, especially with the knowledge that we're moving to a new homestead and a, or a new home and not necessarily a homestead and realizing that my homesteading, gardening, whatever life is about to radically change, it felt like kismet to like finally find this, something I've been looking for. It's almost like, I don't really believe in fate or like the universe or universe capital U or any of that like that uh, mumbo jumbo hippy dippy stuff but the woo as you will but I, I I couldn't help but be like wow this seems meaningful to me ultimately it's probably just a coincidence in the chaos that is the, the universe lowercase u universe but uh <laughs> it felt it felt it did feel right like it felt like a special like gift um you know, that everything's going to be okay because this thing I've been wanting to do for a long time that is directly, directly related to something that I feel is in some way kind of in peril, in jeopardy. If I may get kind of like whatever for a moment. 
a little emotional. You know, it's like I recognize that the change that we're making away from our current homestead to our new homestead is radically different. And it is, um, it's a huge change in life. And, and if I were, um, I probably come off as a very pessimistic person most of the time, but if I, I generally am not, I'm actually a pretty optimistic person in the grand scheme of things. But if I wanted to be like totally defeatist and pessimistic, I could look at our move from this 17 acre rural homestead in to the suburbs, back into the suburbs as a failure, but I'm not. And I'll talk about that in a different video because I do want to talk about that. But it, it, it does, there is a heaviness on my heart. Some part of me does feel like a failure. Sometimes, you know, some part of me just is sad about not being able to have the time and energy to build this place up and the money and everything else. I've talked about that stuff a hundred times, so I won't go into it today. So to have this come along, just something that is like, so I've always wanted for my gardening and for my seeds to have that come along and be like, here I am. It just felt like so, it was an uplifting of my spirit. Like I felt so like, just like, okay, everything is going to be okay. Um, and we are making good progress with the move. We've actually moved out a lot of the stuff and are hoping to move out the, basically move out entirely, clean up the top floor. We still have about about a month left to close still. But anyway, that is a topic for the moving. I'm not talking about the moving so much in this video. I want to just share my joy and appreciation, appreciation of having to find this, having found this. And I'll definitely be sharing and talking more about this in the future. Um, I will probably, I don't know what the nine compartments will be. I'm thinking about dividing them up between, you know, like grains, greens, you know, like peppers, tomatoes, eggplant sort of thing. So the the nightshade family, probably each is going to be a major classification. And then in here, maybe alphabetically, but at the very least, probably divided by date. So I'm actually going to separate this out, have a card that has the date. Um, so I can, because that's the one part about my seed collection that's really bad. I don't date my seeds. <laughs> now, thankfully, when you buy packaged seeds, they come with the date. But when I harvest my own seeds, I'm not always great about marking down the date. So honestly, when I start this, I don't even know if I'll be keeping a lot of my old seeds. I may get rid of a lot of my old seeds, but, or at least seeds that I don't know how old they are. But I also kind of just want to buy a bunch of new seeds, but I don't want to go too crazy because I got to figure out what my garden will look like at the new place. But anyway, so I really appreciate you watching uh, as always and joining me. Um, I'm probably going to be posting more videos in the near future, just about little bits of everything. I want to do a lot of smaller videos focused on the small little joys and successes and awesomeness of the craziness that is our coming days here, our final days on this homestead. So uh, in any case, thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share it if you think that makes sense. And I would love to hear your thoughts and comments below about how best perhaps to organize seeds or if you could share your favorite way of like organizing all your seeds because I know a lot of you have huge seed collections so I'd love to hear what other people do but I'm so fracking excited so anyway thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining me on this journey